Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Today, I got another fragrance review for you guys. And this is uh, a company that goes by the name of... Fragrance World. So, uh, Fragrance World's kind of a, I don't know, maybe they've been around for a while, but it's new to me. I see a lot more Amazon uh, listings featuring Fragrance World. And I gotta tell you, I'm super impressed with this brand. And this, again, I don't know if they make um, original creations, but this is a clone company from what I can tell. Uh, they are making, uh, you know, uh, their renditions of more expensive brands, right? And it's just amazing to me that anybody's buying the legitimate brands anymore for the prices they're charging. Uh, but also that can be argued, you know, there's two sides to that coin. These brands out there are creating these amazing creations and then companies like this are totally ripping them off, right? Uh, is the quality on par? Some cases it can be, you know, but, um, but all right, I digress. So let's talk about the fragrance. So today we're going to be talking about Fragrance World's Aftermath. And you can see it says branded intro. We all know what this is a clone of. I mean, even by looking at it, very similar, but different. You know, side by side, you're not going to be fooled into thinking this is actually uh, an Initio uh, branded fragrance, but this is a clone of Side Effect. Now, I've never smelled the actual Side Effect, and there's a reason why. I'm never going to pay $250 for a bottle of cologne. I'm just not going to do it. Absolutely, I think if you get though, you know, those really expensive brands, you're getting, you know, in most cases, the utmost quality, but you ought to be for what you're paying. And this is one of those things I compare, uh, you know, I always make the comparison to watches. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get amazing quality. We have people out there who are like, oh, this is synthetic, or this is, I don't even know what that even means, because I've smelled the cheapest fragrances and the highest end fragrances, right? And, and a lot of times what I get is really just a, a higher oil concentration, right? Less alcohol and just more of a, a longer lasting scent, you know? But for me, I personally, I'm not a cologne snob in any way. And, and if you are, that's okay. I just am never gonna rationalize spending that much money on something that I can buy for, I paid 17. This is, it went up a little bit, it's $23, $23. You, you you can't lose on this. So I again, I don't have the original Initio, but the original Initio is the main accords. I like to go down for, for Grantica like most people do on here. I'm not gonna run you through this journey of scents and, and these notes. There are some reviewers on here and no disrespect, I watch them, I enjoy their content, but they're just like, what are you gonna get? You're gonna have that vanilla kind of, kind of in the top note. Then you're gonna get a little powdery note. It's kind of peeking around the corner. Like, I mean, by all means, review how you want, but I, I call bullshit on that, right? I don't really think that you are going to get all these notes in here. And most people, even the guys reviewing this stuff, a lot of them are not trained in smelling individual notes. Now, I, don't, I think that most of us know what rum smells like, right? Vanilla, right? Tobacco. We, we've, we've usually smelled those things. You go into a tobacco shop, that's what the tobacco note smells like. And I don't mean like smoked, burned tobacco, like cigarette, actual tobacco, right? We know what cinnamon smells like. But a lot of the other stuff, most people don't know. For me, I'm a cologne guy, and I don't even, I've never smelled these things individually. We know what garlic smells like, right? So there are going to be things that most of the population, most of the guys reviewing, most of the guys wearing, are going to be able to recognize. But when you start combining all that, unless you have a fragrance that's mainly like one note, it's going to be really hard to be able to tell the, what you're smelling, right? This is a very simple fragrance, right? Uh, and I, I do mean this one, and I mean Initio's side effect. Um, now, the only reason I chose this and wanted this is because I have a, a uh, Alexandria Fragrances sample they sent me of the Upside Down, which is their rendition of side effect. And it's an incredible fragrance. And after smelling that, I was like, God, I wish somebody made a, a, you know, a less expensive version, right? Because even the Alexandria is great quality. The Alexandria one is better than this, but it's also four times the price of this. This 80 mils, 23 bucks as of today, is incredible. And it's a very simple fragrance. The longevity on this, not as good as uh, Alexandria, and I'm sure nowhere near as good as Initios, but for 23 bucks, you can just go heavy on the trigger on it, douse yourself, and you're still gonna smell it. I put it on light yesterday, uh, I'd say about 12 hours later, I could still smell it. Very slight skin scent style, but it's incredible. So, this is right. This is what you're gonna get on Initios, right? So they say that this main accords are vanilla, rum, tobacco, warm, spicy, sweet, cinnamon, woody, 
powdery. That's too much. I don't think anybody's going to be able to point at all that. What do I mainly get with this? I like to pick three. The three top notes, right? The three main accords. Vanilla, rum, tobacco. Three of the notes that I really appreciate. I really enjoy wearing. Um, this is simple. So what do you what do you get with the notes? And I'm reading you directly off the Fragrantica and what Initio's fragrance has in it as far as our notes. Um, it only has four notes. Rum, vanilla, tobacco, cinnamon. That's it. And you would think that, that would be a basic kind of like, you know, know nothing fragrance but the way they've combined it the way this company has duped it is incredible yes not as not as powerful not as uh i guess uh concentrated as even alexandria's but it's amazing and in all honesty for the price i'd buy four bottles of this just spray more for the same i mean you know it's just it's just incredible so um as far as like when you look at for granted i like to use this as a tool remember this is not a guarantee there's a lot of folks who get on here and i don't know what they're they're like referencing but like a couple folks on here have compared initios to tobacco and tonka bean by banana republic and i'll tell you that doesn't smell anything like this i, I don't know how, and, and most people agree with me, 51 say it does, 61 says it doesn't. So you really have to use for Grantica, take it with a grain of salt. You can be safer when you go to like more of the left side here, where like 116 people said this smells like One Luminous Night by Dolce & Gabbana. Haven't smelled that, but that's a little bit safer. When you start getting involved with ones like Eye of Seven Hills uh, Alhambra Perfume, 62 plus, 33 say it doesn't. You, 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 everybody knows it is different. It is subjective. You never know what you, what you're going to get, but I can assure you with this, uh, Alexandria is one of them. 42 people say the upside down smells like it. 23 says it doesn't. Here's the thing. If you've smelled upside down and you have a sample of that and you are like in love with that fragrance and you don't want any question, by all means, buy the expensive counterpart. But for this, if you've never smelled it and you smell like Alexandria and you like that, if you like these notes, you're going to love this. Incredible quality, incredible, um, just, just what a value. I mean, just absolutely stunning. Um, let me just refresh myself here. So, okay, so the difference I mainly get, this is identical to Alexandria's Upside Down. The the difference I get is more alcohol in this. You just smell more of an alcohol tinge right off the bat, but it's just for a second. It quickly dries down, and then that alcohol disappears, and you get exactly what you get with the Upside Down, and I'm assuming in issues. Unfortunately, this fragrance is pretty new, and I don't think anybody's listed on here. And what I notice a lot of times with... These brands that you find on Amazon, Fragrance World, stuff like that, they really start to get hyped when YouTube influencers start to review them and recommend them. This hasn't been recommended all that much. So the price will most likely go up on this. But it, it depends. Like when you look at uh, the other Initio one that's cloned. Um, help me here. Initio's Oud for Greatness, another incredible fragrance. I forget which. I think this company does that one as well. I have uh, the Latafa, I believe. It's incredible, and it's so good. I just don't have any desire to explore the more expensive one. I, I'm getting an amazing fragrance. This is getting me in that in that uh, realm of what you're getting. If again, you can look at whether people have reviewed on here what they stated. Yeah, if you buy something, you're like, oh, seven people say it does, eight people doesn't. Like you don't know whether it does or doesn't, right? But when you have a pretty decent amount of people. Saying, giving their opinion on it, it's safe to assume you're definitely getting a fragrance that's smelling very close to the counterpart. And again, I can tell you that Alexandria makes amazing fragrances. They do clones extremely well. The quality is fantastic. And, you know, if this is that close to Alexandria, again, not as concentrated. You get more alcohol with this. But... 23 bucks. I mean, you really, you really can't go wrong. So, and you can see what they're, you know, if you look at Initios... Uh, side effect um you know i mean they've kind of did their own thing with the gold label but the, you know what they're trying to do here right they're not trying to fake it and really they're not doing anything wrong it's not a fake it's not you know you can't i don't think you can copyright a fragrance right you can copyright branding you can copyright the bottle the logos but when it comes to the fragrance all they have to do is just tweak it a little bit and then they can say hey this is our creation this is totally different even though we know what they're doing with this but incredible fragrance amazing juice Man, it is great. And, you know, it's funny. You think that something so simple, four notes, would just not be 
all that complex. It wouldn't really be a wow, it really wow you. But this fragrance, this is just a fun fragrance. It's spicy. It's got that cinnamon. It's got the rum. It's boozy. Uh, you know, it, it's just, it's just an amazing juice. And I think that really, you know, a lot of times when fragrance reviewers talk about the DNA, um, you know, I think if you smell like one zoologist fragrance pretty much down the road like they're all different right if you smell a different one it smells nothing like the first one there's something about it that you could say hey is this a zoologist like you get that vibe and with these if you know, like so far i've you know i have two uh clones of initios uh i know that i'm gonna love everything that they make uh it's just like navitus you know um the brand steven from red lessons is into you know he sent me a sampler pla pack and man they're just incredible and like i'm on the hunt to find a clone of those i mean it they're that good and just there's a dna about them that you're just they're very gourmandish and this is what this is it's boozy you get that vanilla it's fun it's sexy uh you know it's this kind of fragrance a woman's just gonna want to come up to you and put her bury your face in your shirt and be like god you smell so good it is that good and i know you guys are gonna love it so if you do like boozy fragrances and you like vanilla again you have tobacco and cinnamon but uh you i think the real player in this is you know they're they're not they're all listed as equal there's not like a top note bottom note. it's just listed as notes um i'd really say that this one here cinnamon you know you just kind of get them all like when you read the notes and you smell it you can't really pinpoint one that stands out more than another you just have a balanced rum vanilla tobacco and cinnamon uh but i would say you know the the, the rum vanilla and cinnamon i think are the main players here i don't get a huge amount of tobacco but it is there uh and it is fantastic so really you know when it comes to reviews a lot of times at fragrances my goal is to turn you on to something and if you've trusted my uh my reviews before and you're like oh i need to try this fragrance i think fragrances most of them out there are likable, and I think that, you know, the journey we take with fragrances, it changes. You know, I wouldn't wear stuff like this when I was at 19. Um, it just, you kind of grow, and your world kind of opens up more, and then you're looking to try more and more daring stuff. So, uh, and this, I think anybody's going to like this, and I think any female who smells this is going to love it. And I think really... You know, a lot of times we wear fragrances for ourselves, but you know, the we do uh, we do appreciate uh, our uh, you know the females and whatever your preference is, whatever. And everybody's gonna like this, but you know, I, I appreciate a female being like, "Ooh, you smell good." It is an attraction factor, right? Just to smell good. And gentlemen, no excuse nowadays. Doesn't matter what your budget is. There are so many amazing fragrances out there that you can get and smell good. You, you don't have to get the warm, spicy, boozy fragrance. You get the freshies. You know, there are so many options out there nowadays. There's really just no no excuse, I mean, to not smell your best. So if I can help in any way, let me know. Drop a comment. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day and take care.